to around the juicer in 80 days. Yeah, just like the movie. Um, I'm calling this around the juicer in 80 days because, you know, uh, my first juice feast was about 80 days long. It was like 70 days, 75 days plus a five day post feast which I didn't do that great on, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, uh, I did great on the Juice Feast, though. It was amazing. Um, lots of great things happened, and um, I lost 30 pounds. It was, I felt incredible. So I'm going to do it again, and I want to do the Post Feast a little better this time. Here is my juicer. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Yes, I know it looks like a machine gun, but it's not. It's uh, an amazing little machine that I got for myself last year when I realized the importance of detoxing. Uh, actually, I realized the importance of detoxing a while back. Uh, I started on a different plan, Isogenics. I know some of you may have heard of it. It's, um, it's a really awesome plan. However, um, I wanted to take it even further. Um, I wanted to start putting real living foods into my body, which I had heard um, a lot about raw foods, and then I, I went even further into the juice feasting. Now, juice feasting, of course, is different from juice fasting in that you're not depleting your body of the nutrients that it needs on a daily basis, so you're keeping up with your energy, and um, the great thing about juice feasting is not only that you're alkalizing your body with all of that wonderful uh, nutrition you're getting from a concentrated amount of vitamins coming from fruits and vegetables 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 um, but you're also um, resting your digestive system and I think that's probably one of the most important things I found about it is that when you rest your digestive system you get you give your body a chance to recuperate and to start repairing other areas of your body that may need work. Um, so, uh, I also add a few other things into my green juice in the morning, which we'll talk about a little later. And so this is day one. Um, I will, uh, yeah, this is day one. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so here we have um, the ingredients for my green juice, which I have every morning. Um, I have a huge, like, jug of it. Well, maybe, you know, like a quart. And then um, it consists of spinach on some days. Also, always have a, a dark green vegetable. Okay, organic. I got these at Whole Foods. You, you, sometimes I go to the farmer's market and I pick up a lot of great stuff too. A little bit of romaine. This is all I have left, <laughs> the inside of it. And then, of course, you got your celery. It's uh, very hydrating. And a spinach, by the way, um, has an um, amazing amount of ingredients. I went for a test once to you know, check my iron and all I was doing was juice feasting and my iron was in top shape because I was taking, intaking spinach almost every day. The apples, very important, malic acid, and then uh, some ginger. I love ginger, it's the greatest. And there is my juice, which I'm going to have right now. Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, in my green juice every morning, I also put a few other ingredients. Um, here we have some maca. Maca is amazing for the entire endocrine system, the hormones, male and female. Um, it's great for energy and uh, it has, like I said, a, an amazing, it's just amazing amount of uh, minerals um, for your body. And this one, I particular one I got at the farmer's market and it's certified organic, as you can see. And here we have some cacao and I'm going to talk about each of these ingredients we'll take one each day and I'll I'll discuss them in detail but right now for now you'll just see I put in a couple of tablespoons of this this particular cacao is um, raw organic of course but it's also mixed with goji berry um, raw goji berry and it makes everything taste really good um, then we have our hemp oil very important for the nervous system um, you, uh, you got to get it in, especially if you're a vegetarian. 
Um, great amount of uh, perfect balance of omegas, uh, threes and sixes, and uh, very, very, very important for your brain and nervous system. And of course we have our amino acids that we found in our bee pollen. Um, so I dig a tablespoon of that inside of my green juice. And don't forget your, your B vitamins. This, this is a B complex actually, it says B12, but it is a B complex. And it has um, a, an incredible amount of B vitamins. This is good for energy and a whole bunch of other things. Again, I'll go over this in detail at another, on another day. Um, this is a sublingual, and it's, uh, it does say her nervous system health. If you can see that, it's not very focused. And this is my new Oyster Blender, which I'm very proud of, and the cup is not there because I'm washing it. So um, that's the things that go inside of my daily green juice right there. These four lovely things, and I just blend them up. All right. Oh, yeah, and here it is. I can't forget to tell you about my Champion 2000, which I got last year. Greatest, probably one of the greatest gifts I could have given myself right there. Champion 2000. Lovely little juicer. It comes apart right here, so you can, like, you know, put the vegetables in through there. And I'll show you one day. I don't want to bombard you everything on, on the first day, but there it is.